Once the breadbasket of South Sudan, the lush and fertile land surrounding Ye supported a thriving trading centre and attracted crowds of weekend visitors from the capital. It was an ethnically diverse community and home to 300,000 people living largely in harmony. That changed in 2016 when violence erupted between the government and opposition forces as they fought for control over the strategic outpost on the main trading route with Uganda and the Democratic Republic of Congo. Most of the population fled, leaving Ye largely a ghost town, which it remains today amidst ongoing violence, human rights abuses and extreme poverty. Once abundantly available in this farming community, food is now scarce because people are afraid to travel outside the town to harvest their crops or to buy food from markets. The hunger in Ye is, you know, forcing women to go outside the town and it is really impossible for us as women to go outside but because of our children we really want to rescue them from dying. We go outside and, you know, you, we endanger our lives. Once you go outside the town five miles or three miles, you are abducted. On a visit to Ye, the head of the United Nations mission in South Sudan met with political, religious and community leaders to hear their concerns about the ongoing insecurity. He announced that the mission is exploring the establishment of a new peacekeeping base in Ye to better protect civilians and build durable peace. Everything that you would want is here uh, and yet it's been destroyed by war and 70% of its population is no longer here, they're in refugee camps or, or displaced. Uh, that's a real, real tragedy. So whatever we can do to try and support bringing Ye back to what it was, uh, we will try and do. Uh, but it requires us to be able to have that, the access into the surrounding countryside um, and also to be able to talk to the people we need to talk to. And that means the opposition as well as the, as well as the government supported um, sides as well. A number of conditions would need to be met before the base is established. Guaranteed access for peacekeepers to outlying areas, the cooperation of local authorities including security services, and the existence of a genuinely inclusive grassroots peace process. Indeed, if you have more peacekeepers here, we uh, uh, really will have the, uh, that peace, and then we will have that uh, that uh, that opportunity of having uh, of moving outside or to go to, to to see our people in the villages, to to go to the remote areas, because uh, the UN is there to keep uh, people's life. While a local peace agreement was signed last month, many say that unless the killings, abduction, rape and violent robberies stop, there is little hope of enduring peace or the recovery of their much-loved, once vibrant and prosperous yay.